now that I'm a cyborg, I don't feel closer to machines or to robots. I feel much closer to nature and to other uh, animal species. Many people believe that becoming technology will separate us from nature. To me, it's quite the opposite. Now I feel a closer connection to nature because I can sense ultraviolets and infrareds. I feel um, much more closer to other animal species like insects because I also have an, an antenna. And also I can connect to space through the internet. So I feel the technology is allowing me to feel a uh, connection to reality and to earth and to space that I didn't have before. The goal in the very long term is to be 100% artificial and leave uh, the planet, right? We're, you know, we're number one, we're past the load bearing capacity of our planet and we could design ourselves in a much more efficient and less impactful way and go and travel the stars and, and see everything there is to see. Ich sehe mich selber als Cyborg, als, als kybernetischen Organismus. Ich habe früher viele Jahre lang programmiert und äh, das Implantat in meinem Körper ist ein Computer. Und jetzt sitze ich davor und würde ihn gerne programmieren. Ich würde gerne herausfinden, wenn dieser Computer, der sowieso da ist, was der noch alles kann. Ever since humans invented computer chips, we have dreamt of plugging them into us or plugging us into them. Currently, electronic devices are implanted to treat medical conditions. But one day technology will do more than just bringing us back to normal. It will enhance us, giving us more strength, new senses, and maybe even more intelligence, turning us into cyborgs. Around the world, Adventurous pioneers are already experimenting on themselves. Scientists are more cautious, but some of them too dream of augmenting the capabilities of the human body. I think in a hundred years, we would not even recognize the body. Our views today that we hold so strongly on what the body is will seem so limited and stagnant and ignorant. By incorporating, again, the robotics technology to our body, uh, we human will be much more capable for the future, and which is a you know, step difference you know, from us being uh, you know, right now. Um, so we call that the you know, human 2.0. I think that our technology begins to seamlessly enter us, and we begin to seamlessly enter our technology base. I think that the fusion of the man-made and the synthetic and the organic is, is the future. 